Okay, here's another bullet integration test using version 2.66 of Blender. And in this case, the, it is pretty interesting with the simulation. I'll run it here in a second, but this is actually a cloth object in here. And these are rigid bodies, and that's part of the new system. And what's nice is that you can make the rigid bodies interact with the cloth, or you can make them ignore the cloth, which I do both in this animation here. Let me see where it is, right here. So let me run it, and I'll show you what I mean. So in the case of these spheres, they interact with cloth. I designed that intentionally. And, but then these rigid bodies, the bricks that fall down, these here, they don't interact with the cloth, but they can. But you can see the rigid bodies, and when those come down and hit this extra stuff, they interact with this as well. So it's pretty powerful. And it's a lot easier to set up in certain ways than using the uh, game engine for certain effects. The game engine is really powerful for its own effects as well. So they both have really distinct advantages. And I'll continue working with this and I'll do many more different examples because I'm still testing it. I actually like to see what its capabilities are and kind of mix and match between the two different systems to get the effects that I'm looking for. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, well that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.